the sun is shining and if we look down here da, 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 I've got my shorts on so I did indeed pack for the right weather those that were doubting me and yeah we're just walking across now to go and walk the cross country course I'll be taking some video of that there's a few horses out here warming up for their dressage already which starts shortly it isn't Lee half past eight and I think it all kicked off at about 9am so yeah the arenas look lovely they're just up there behind me and then the show jumping will be over here and we're just heading up there now to walk the cross country so we'll show you the fences shortly three two one go good luck So between fence three and four, you glance over your right hand shoulder and there you have it, the beautiful badminton house. But you can't look at it for too long because as you turn around the corner to your left. First proper question. So fence one, two, three and four all looked very nice and inviting. You can either jump it head on Veer off to the right, do a circle, and then head back to number six over there, because it's not an A and B element. Or, if you're feeling brave this early on in the course, you can take the direct line, land, and head for your next fence, number six at which point they will clock the water. Well, it's nice to put a bit of sand to catch riders when they fall off. <laughs> it's kind of them, isn't it? Yeah. May you apply that. towards the end of the grassroots course fence number 19 in the 90 and I've just come across across the horse quest hump and I'm really, I think it looks so fab they've literally got the the 90 the four star and the 100 and they're all matching fences however obviously this one up here is slightly larger <laughs> look at it fence three you're not even far into the course and look at the size of it Oh, how wide. Not to mention the mound that you've had to come up prior to attempting to jump. Coming up to the final fence on the course now. I'm so excited to watch three of my friends compete around it. And yeah, final fence is the book. Who will get their name on it next year?
100 course with Fred and Naomi. Emily's uh, in charge of the course walk app and that's fence number one. They are up there marching on, finding their way to fence number two, but they're walking the 100 now, so we did the 90 this morning. And now we're heading off around the 100 course. Brush isn't that high, guys. It is cut away there. <laughs> it looked from there like you're jumping the top of it. Do not look at anything else. Don't even look in the ditch. Just look at the top of that brush. Don't waver on your line. Stay on it. Contrast to yesterday. Welcome to show jumping day at Badminton Hall Trials. <laughs> we don't look quite as jolly as yesterday, Em. Yeah. Why is that? No shorts hours. either, no shorts today. <laughs> few hours, it's meant to be nice and cool. I hope so. Oh, no, enjoy it. You and Charlotte Hall coming to the final defences on the cross country has begun. The Amy's just got to gallop past that gorgeous house and into the <laughs> famous lake. <laughs> into the famous lake. They looked absolutely epic. Proper class around that combination just behind us there. But made us all emotional. <laughs> it's when they're all patting and saying, yeah, Well done to the horses themselves. <laughs> I want to ride here. <laughs> I won't be saying that if I do get to ride no. here, I'll be like, oh look, there's some more four-star horses grazing over there. You would think they would get wired when they can hear the town noise going and the horses galloping around the cross country. And they're just happily munching outside Babington House. As you do. Their bellies are more important. Bellies are more important. <laughs> so is mine at the moment, actually. <laughs> Hobby has joined us on Cross Country Day. Say hi, Vitalik. We're on the vlog. Hi. Well, Mummy's gonna jump that jump. Look, that really big one. How was Mummy show jumping? Just one down, but that was unfortunate. She actually aced the rest of the course. So we're heading out down now to the lake, aren't we? We're going to watch Mummy at the lake. Yeah. Down at the lake because we can capture three or four jumps there and also get. My husband is absolutely epic. <laughs> we're just crossing the road in front of Badminton House. Oh, and a very professional four star horse came past. Who was it, Robbie? And Robbie knew who it was before me and Emily. Well, we knew who it was, but. Oh, Mitsubishi, you're letting yourself down here. Having to have a Land Rover tow you out in the mud at Badminton Horse Trials. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. That's bad, because you want to show that Mitsubishi. Exactly, and they're not, are they? No. That is funny. That was caught on camera, guys. And also, apparently, I cut Mark Todd up crossing earlier. <laughs> Did I? I didn't even realise it was him, I just walked straight even in front of him. Even your husband knew who it was. Oh, he's good. He knew Michael Young as well. Epic. So we're just waiting now down by the lake. Sarah is going to start any minute. She'll head out over one, two, three. Round here to four. And then we will film her as she heads into the lake at five and six.
Well done. I'll try that one on you, but if that's what you want, that's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. Just, this is what we've got out. Um, so. Absolutely fab day over on the cross country course. We're just heading back over to the grassroots campsite. Good day? Yeah, it's been fab. Been lush. Amazing. We were both very envious that we weren't riding. Sorry, sun in my eyes. But Em's had a little bit of an emotional <laughs> moment because obviously was competing here last year. We're both playing top groom stroke spectator. I think we've been more spectator than groom. Watch the trot up. We didn't watch the prize giving, did we? No. And then we headed down. Watch all the pros working the horses yeah, in. Yeah, to watch some of the pros working their horses in. Fox Pit, Piggy French, Pippa Funnel. They were all. Alex Bragg. Alex Bragg, who else was there? Richard Wagup was there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, the, yeah, we watched a bit of that. Chilled. It was such a contrast. Look at this blue sky, sunshine in comparison to this morning. So, yeah, we just sat there watching the world go by and watching the pros do what they do best. And it was really relaxing actually. I feel Emily feels quite chilled. But my feet certainly know that they've probably walked another 10 miles today. How's so. your shins? You know, my shins walking. are better now. My shins are better now. <laughs> <laughs> they do feel better now as my hips are hurting. Oh. Uh, we're hoping that this weather means that the tent won't be flooded tonight. My legs certainly feel it. <laughs> But next year, either Lola or Banksy are going to no, be there. Banksy will be here. Banksy will be here. Banksy will be here. That's me, fingers crossing. Pull your finger out, Tina. Might happen. Might need to do an event like. You might, know, might actually need to start eventing again during 2018 in order for that to happen. But I'm just going with we've got two regional final tickets. Yeah. So that doesn't happen till after July. So we'll just like wing it till then. Yeah, no. No. You'll be fine. Well, providing he's got four feet when I get back, we'll crack on. <laughs> he's jumped out of one field, not he? Yeah, I've just been told that, he, that the Banksy has actually escaped the field today. So, clearly, he wants to go eventing. Shush, trailer, I'm trying to vlog. So when we get back, it's time to go jumping. Egan has come for his first hat fitting. Yeah, definitely. 
ました。Guys, we've had to hide under a tree. It's so hot.